I am back. Um, today, I just wanted to tell you my obsession, uh, another obsession of mine, I should say, and that is planning. And yes, I know you have electro you can get electronic stuff, but I am obsessed with planning. So every year I get a planner, and I like the ones that oh, that's all my papers that have like the times on the side and then like on this side you have the to do's that you can put all your to-do list there and then and i really like the time so i can write in the meetings and stuff and then i have tons and tons of stickers so i can set you know like payday bills due all that kind of stuff um here and i have a whole bunch of stickers and I can show you my drawer full of them. As you can see, I have a drawer full of stickers for everything that you can possibly think of. I even have what day is it stickers. So I know what kind of day it is every day. So for instance, like on January 12th, it's hot tea day. And I put a sticker, I get a new one every year and put them in um, my planner. So I know what day it is, and I know it can irritate some people because I post what day it is every day on Facebook, and people are like, some people laugh, and some people like it. Some people are like, come on, stop this. This is crazy. But I have um, even, I even had like st student stickers, you know, for like um, test or a paper's due, or whatever because um, I was in school I took the summer off and I was get my doctorate now I'm debating if I really want to go back I've been in school for the, my entire life and I don't know if, I think I'm pretty much done I don't know though so in addition to that one I have some other like I just have this little mini pocket one where I can write notes and stuff or ideas. It's just regular. Um, it's but it's pocket one so I can take notes. And then I have oh, all the cards from hotels. Um, I have another little planner um, that it you you can um, write some all the things and it has the page number because these actually have has page numbers so then you can say okay on page one let me get to page one I can write I have a hundred questions that tried to that I started writing on like what things to kind of stimulate my mind and stuff like that and you know like and the first question was can you really train your mind that was one of my questions that I had and then you know any recommendations for hospitals, my goals, um, which is on page 10. I can just go to the page and find out my goals. Um, yeah, one of my doc my goals was to get my doctorate. I've been in the doctorate program for so long, I think. I might just give up. I don't usually give up on things, on my goals. I just keep striving, but I don't know. Um, another goal was of mine is to really... Um, start my Lean Six Sigma business and really train hospitals. If you've seen my other video about it, you would um, uh, you know more about that. Um, but in, with that purchasing um, Minicab, which is a, state, a statistical software program, because you can, oh, it's amazing what you can do with, um, with, the, with data using that software. And in, it's a little pricey. I mean, it's worth it, but I try to, um, when I go to the different hospitals, try to encourage them to let me have a license and then I can teach them so that they're how to use it. So then they can, um, so it's worth it to them and, um, and they can start using some of the charts and that kind of stuff. So that's this one. And then this one is, um, one and I have actually more at home believe it or not it's like your ideas you have your ideas and then you can tell how um, if if it's this is um, the excitement level 
and this isn't necessarily excitement level for me it's for wherever I'm going or like whatever I'm doing um, or the hospital so then this kind of gauges like how great you're at or how if if your idea is going to be kind of worthwhile so the excitement level the difficulty level and then you have you can go to the incubate page number and the hatch number and um and the incubate is it says in here evaluate your ideas for feasibility and personal excitement level and that starts on page 27 and it kind of has a, a plan a layout plan for you which is really really nice i really like it and then um the last step is the hatch number and hatch is on here develop an idea into a fully formed concept plan action steps and then execute and that starts on page 53 so then you can go to the hatch and um, really put your things into place as you can see I started it um, with some ideas and stuff but um, and I started writing some things down and yeah it's unfortunately a lot of my ideas is gonna is kind of um, needs like people in power to try to implement like the healthcare thing I pretty much need the president of the United States to probably enforce the, you know to try to implement some of those things which that's probably never gonna happen you know and like my other goal of the um, with helping veterans out well I think I just need to win the lottery on that and I have a better chance of getting struck by lightning so that's that's and I have actually a couple more of these at home I just it's hard to bring everything to my hotel room and my hotel rooms already kind of like cluttered with all my makeup and everything else then the other thing I do I use is I have colored pens for like I have a lot at home I you just didn't bring them all but I have like fifth probably a hundred color pens um, that I've gotten off Amazon those binders I've got um, planners I got off of Amazon as well and then I even got scented colored pens off of Amazon love it I love these scent I love scented anything either scented products for um, makeup scented even some some of my stickers um, are scented, and then that I have for my planner. And then I found a while back I at Walmart I was able to find colored pens, and I used to buy them all the time. But some reason I couldn't find them anymore at Walmart. But then I found some off at Amazon, and I had to get them. I had to get a bunch because I didn't know if they would all of a sudden like. Uh, so I like went crazy and bought like probably fifty dollars worth of colored scented pens for that reason but I left them at home I wish I didn't but I did did I speaking of I might have left some of my pens at the previous apartment anyway I'll have to check at home because now that I'm thinking, I'm wondering if I didn't bring them with. Mm, that's, that makes me really sad. Anyway, that is my obsession with planners and the stickers. I get those at Michael's a lot. I got some of them off of Amazon, but Michael's um, I kind of like a little bit better because you can actually go through and see if those are the stickers you want. On Amazon, it's hard to see um, from the picture, but I have gotten some off of Amazon. The pens, I've gotten off of Amazon uh, mostly the regular color pens I got at Walmart because you can get like a big huge package of them and they're but they're not sent in so I got the center ones off of Amazon and then the planners I did get off of Amazon as well um, and it's uh, I really enjoy them I wish I could spend more time and use my ideas and that kind of stuff but so anyway, that's a little bit about my planner obsession and um, with my pens and being a nurse. 
I've always been obsessed with pens. You should see me as a floor nurse. I would always have my pocket full of pens and would everything would be a different color. Like their history would be one color, meds would be a different color. And everybody's like, why do you have your pens, like a whole bunch of different color pens? Yeah, I'm a little crazy. But that's a little bit of uh, my obsession with planners and pens. If you enjoyed watching this video, please subscribe to my channel and click that little bell so you can get notified when I do upload and please uh, comment below if, what else you would like to see. Bye!